Hey everyone, in this week's Atlassian Community Q&A video, we're going to look at Tumi's question on how to make epics visible. So here you can see Timmy had reported that they have a problem and that epics are not being displayed. It goes on to say, we've reviewed all the settings. It is not displayed in the backlog. Moreover, we try to activate the epic panel in backlog, but when you activate it, it says your project has no epics. In the end, we created an epic through this panel and it appeared on it immediately and then disappeared. That is, Jira does not read that there are epics there are only visible in issues, but not in the board, but they are not even visible in the backlog. Moreover, when we have child issues linked to an epic, it should show the affiliation, but it doesn't. All settings are correct. Help us. What can we do? So there are a couple of things that could be going on with why your epics are not visible. One of them is a response here that you've already received. Basically saying to double check and take a look at your JQL query and that it's not excluding epics as issue types. So that is one reason that it could happen. So let's go ahead and go over to Jira and I'll show you how you can find that information. So here you can see we're on a backlog of a project that I have in Jira. And I don't currently have the epic panel toggled. So you can go and you can toggle show epic panel. And here you can see I have my epics that populate, but the epics themselves don't actually show on the backlog. But you can filter and find those epics here through the epic panel. Now, if you want to double check the filter that's associated with your board, what you can do is either from the backlog or from the board itself, you can hit this ellipses icon in the right hand corner and go to configure board. Once on configure board under general, you can scroll down and there are a couple of things that you should check. First, we'll start with checking on whether or not your filter query under a general, again, in general settings, we're going to check that your filter query is not excluding any epics as issue types. And the way that you can update your filter, you do need to have permission to be able to access this filter. So if someone has created a different filter and you don't have permission to edit that, that is something that you'll need to request by the owner. But if you hit edit filter, this will pop up in a new screen. And here's where you can actually edit that JQL query. So you can say project equals whatever the project it is you're looking for. And for example's sake, I'm just going to exclude issue types from my JQL here to show you what that would have um, in terms of an impact on the backlog and the board itself. So project equals the project that you're looking for an issue type. I'm gonna say does not equal epic just so that we can see those impacts. We're going to hit enter. You can see this list no longer shows any epics. What you're going to do is you're going to hit save filters. You're going to hit the drop down. You're going to hit save changes. Okay, so now those changes have been saved. Let's go ahead and go back to our backlog. So if you go back to your board configuration settings, you can hit back to board. If you are on your board, it'll take you back to the board itself. If you're on the backlog, it'll take you back to the backlog and you can always navigate to the backlog here. So now you can see, let's go ahead and topple, toggle the Epic panel as on. And now you can see that those Epics are no longer showing in the Epic panel. And if I hit Create Epic, you'll see I have the project. The project will always populate as the location that the board is located in. And that's the second point that we're going to go over in board configuration settings. But for now, this is the project. I want to create an epic. So let's call this new test epic. And we are going to hit create. As you can see, you cannot see that this epic, although it's been created, you cannot see it in the backlog. So you can see that epics do exist within this project. The effect that this will have on your board, however, let's go ahead and go over to active sprints. I have my work grouped by epics and you can see that the epics that do exist that I have worked for in the sprint are still populating as those dropdowns. So you will still be able to see them even though the filter for that board is excluding epics. And so that's the impact that it has on the backlog versus the board. Let's go ahead 
and go back to, so we're gonna access it from the board view this time. So we're gonna hit that ellipses icon in the top right hand corner, and we're going to go to configure board. And again, under general, we're going to scroll down and under the filter query, we are going to edit filter query. So just make sure you understand what information is being pulled in your filter query and that it's not excluding any epics. So let's go ahead and eliminate this portion where I was excluding epics previously and let's resave that filter. So again, you go, you make your changes, you go to save filter, save changes. Now let's navigate back to our board and let's go back to our backlog. Let's activate that Epic panel. And now you can see if we scroll down, new test Epic is available for us to view. So one thing that you can do is just double check that filter query to make sure that you are actually allowing your board to pull in any Epics from this project. The second thing that I want you to take a look at is also under board settings. So again, we're going to hit that ellipsis icon, go to configure board. The other thing I want you to take a look at under general is where that location is for your board. If your board is under a different project location, when you go to create an epic from the backlog, it will create it in the project or default to whatever project that the board is currently located in. So that's something you need to pay attention to, and that might be why you're experiencing this notification that says your project has no epics. They might actually be nestled under a different project, and that's something that's just super, super easy to overlook and to miss. So definitely go to your uh, board configuration settings, take a look at the location and make sure that it is the correct location and that you are creating your epics in the correct project because sometimes boards pull information from multiple projects. And on that same note, also take a look at your filter query and see if it is pulling information and issues from multiple projects. If it is, then that may also explain why you're not seeing the epics on a backlog. So again, the epics might only be showing from the location backlog, even though you're pulling from multiple projects. And so if you want those epics to be pulled into the backlog um, query for your board, make sure that you are including both of those projects in your filter query, and they may or may not show up until you have an actual issue that's underneath that epic added into a sprint. Uh, that's something that you are gonna have to verify, but that's what I recommend in terms of troubleshooting. So hopefully this video is quick and helps you take a look and figure out why your epics are not displaying on your backlog.